through the gorge. Yeah. Remember last time I came through here, they had part of the road shut down. And you had to like jump off exit and go down this little road and come right back on. I guess they finished all that. They were working under the over underpasses. Which is good. Work on those roads. Just don't take three or four years like some states. Louisiana. <laughs> stretch. It's one stretch on I-10. Louisiana, man. I swear, I think they've been doing construction over there since I've been driving. I mean, there's probably countless other areas. And they just, for some reason, that one just always comes to mind. Every time you come up there, it's always one lane. You know, and they drive by and nobody's out there working. They got cops out there, you know, kind of warning you to slow down. And you get up the road and there's no one no one there. Whatever. Quitting time. I traded in and got the other truck that truck was going to wholesale so they done made their money on that truck 
not just for me, probably two other drivers I would assume probably had it before me, or shoot, probably three or four before me. And I remember, man, I still remember that truck, man. Four months from paying it off. I'm not talking four months and you know, decide if I want to up the lease. I mean, it was like four months from the title in my hand. And I would have been taking that truck somewhere else, you know. Didn't make it. It's almost like they knew. <laughs> I wonder how much that happens. People pay off trucks and leave, you know. Get a good company and they'll stay. That's why I always thought Warner was a good company to start with, but for me, it wasn't worth hanging around. So maybe good for some people, but not this guy. I love what I'm doing now. I just gotta find me the lane. I gotta find the lane. You know, jumping all around, going all over the place is, is, is good, but it's kind of getting old. I, I need to find a lane, you know. I live in Florida, so I gotta, I gotta find, I gotta find something, you know. Start talking to some of these shippers and like a direct shipper type deal or something possibly. I don't even know how that works, tell you the truth. Like the the ideal lane would be like like obviously Florida to Georgia, Georgia to Texas, Texas to Georgia, into back into Florida. You know, gotta find my lane. Stay in your lane. Coming up behind me fast. Woo, slow down. Oh, him in his buddy. A dump truck. It looked like a rock truck or something. It was a dump truck. He was cruising, man. Coming up behind me. Well, no wonder you're cruising. You're empty. head down to the TA 82 miles we'll catch up there and we'll end our day and there's two dirt bikes oh and a little four-wheeler from the exit, well actually 1.2, exit 63, right there, the uh, <laughs> coming down 26, jump on 85 south, and the uh, the exit for 85 south is closed, it's like gone, it's gone, I guess they're going to re, you know, repave it or whatever, so yeah, I got to take 85 north, go up a couple of exits and loop back around you know man I was looking on a trucker path just a little bit ago come on man 45 minutes ago somebody said it was in the red then two minutes after that someone said it was in the yellow yeah, it's only 615. We will see here momentarily. Make me pay for a parking spot. 
spot. It's too early for that. But if we gotta pay, we gotta pay. It's a little pilot, man. That thing's a freaking cluster, man. Bobtail? Bobtail section? Expediters? Huh. Golly, there's like three trucks in front of me. There's like three behind me. This place may be jammed up. Arriving at 1400 East Main Street on the left. Every time I've come here, I've always had to park in the back. They always park in spots in the back. Uh, we'll see what happens. Circles over there. Not good, not good. We have to we may have to buy a spot tonight. Don't be stopping up on the hill, man. Go. cause here. down there. 